Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make 2D graph animation in Jupyter Notebook from scratch, okay? So let's start. So before I start this tutorial, make sure that you have installed IPy widgets. A simple command is pip install IPy widgets, okay? So you can install via CMD, okay? Anaconda CMD. So first I import import IPy widgets as widgets, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.py plot as a plt so this one is basically going to plot our graph this one is for trigonometrical functions that we are going to use in our program and this one is going to create this animation part okay after that i have created a function called theta in which i have included a parameter called t1 after that here you can see i have defined the figure size or graph size is it is 10 ratio 5 okay 10 comma 5 and here you can see t and p dot line space 0 to t1 equal to uh, comma 20 so line space basically defined 0 to t1 and there are the number of gaps uh, the number of uh, the number of uh, the gaps the between them is 20 okay so so this one this line is present total t just remember that that t1 is going to be updated and it will go to the maximum value of 360 degree okay after that i have a creative function called x that is np dot sign np dot radius t a question as you mind why i have tried np dot radius by convention whenever you type give or angle to sign it will take as a radius to convert into degrees you have to type np dot radius i know it sounds weird that to convert into degrees i have to type radians yes you have to type radians to convert into degrees okay now after that you have to type plt dot plot t comma x okay to plot the graph so this is amplitude and this is degrees and i've given the label degrees and amplitude after that i have import this uh, i have called this widgets interact uh, first define the function name after that my parameter that is t1 okay which is dot play i have defined the minimum value the maximum value and the number of steps uh low lower the number of steps is uh, better the speed of the animation if i increase the speed of animation and shift enter and click on play and um, sorry for example if i make it 360 and make it 10 and shift enter and make it play as you can see now the graph accuracy is more higher and it will take some more time okay so with that you can increase or decrease the speed of time as per your requirement and if you want the code check out the code link in description okay as you can see i in this time i have not defined steps so it is taking a very long time to plot the graph uh, it is going to be take a, lo a lot of time i guess a two minutes or more but if your complexity is high it will take more time uh, i also created this one okay so if you are from a mechanical engineer okay then you will know where this graph from it is from engineering uh, mechanical vibrations so it's basically the calculating the graph of plotting the graph of vibration with respect to time okay so i'm creating currently creating a course for mechanical engineers so you will see in the future and here's this code uh, and if you want the code check out the blog link description and here you can go to my blog and check out my other cool things for example other code for example python tangent to the curve it is an interactive one like this animation so you can definitely check out my other uh, tutorials and if you are for mechanical engineer uh, i have done a plenty of coding for mechanical engineering and if you are from a computer science background then here are some codes I have done for OpenCV and my projects. Uh, I hope that, that you're going to like it. So make sure that give it a try. Uh, you might like it. And I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask in comments. Okay. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.